It's returned. Hello, your computer has virus. It's quite impossible for good to exist in this world without evil. As Charles Babbage, the creator of computers, once said, Computer viruses already began in 1949 when von Neumann wrote something on the lines of blah blah this shit copy pasting itself. And in 1970, Creeper was one of the first viruses that was created in assembly as a result of scientific papers and experiments, which eventually led to the creation of Elk Cloner, which is said to be, quote, found in the wild affecting personal computers, but actually was created in a computer lab. Really makes you wonder what these scientists actually do, huh? And if there are some relevances in the modern world today, oh God, I was just trying to make a joke. Don't quote me. I've... Anyway, then we have the usual. Two people from Pakistan creating a virus called Brain, trying to break into Windows, then Russia copying it, making it actually work, and calling it <laughs> Vlad. There are many type of viruses that you'll find on the internet, but we'll just yeet that section out since you'll probably know them already. But here's a quick song about it. Trojans are the green gods that lie to you. And ransomware stats for money just like start founders do. Contact on their own. Root kids can barely spawn, but the biggest lie that we've been told is none of them are actually viruses. And oh god, just do some research, not each malicious piece of software is a virus. Come on, people! <sighs> anyway. Let's talk about some stupid virus stories. Consider this virus called Cookie Monster. Created in the late 1960s, this virus had one goal, to incessantly demand cookies. The malware would freeze your computer until you force-fed the word cookie down its throat until it looked like an average McDonald's consumer. I'll just fucking have whatever he's high on. Then there was this virus called Leakin, where the creator, Jonathan Zwada, was once high on crack and wondered what if kryptonite on crack? Which means he created an application which would display visuals depicting kryptonite on crack. Since we have AI nowadays, here are some more. Rocks on weed. Mountains on alcohol. Spaceships on LSD. Your mom on... Oh, wait, that's too real. Lastly, we have the godfather of viruses. This Wi-Fatch, an unusual form of malware. Wi-Fatch infected Wi-Fi routers and other connected devices and patched them as in fixed the user's shit. In addition to updating the devices, the program left a message to owners with recommendations to change passwords and update firmware. The creator of this virus probably pays for WinRAR. Ugh. Feels like we should make an open source virus like it. You know, what do you say, JavaScriptians? This was a small snippet of history of computer viruses. And the best antivirus is 